I'm gonna show you how to check the heat sequencer. Let me show you. Turn the thermostat to the heating operation. Put your meter to volts AC. You can see that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one lead to one side of the sequencer of that coil, the coil of that sequencer, and then another lead to the other side. Now check out the meter. And it says the coil is getting 26 volts. So it should energize the contacts. We're gonna check the two sets of contacts that this single sequencer has. Check across the contacts of the first set of contacts. You got voltage, what does that mean? Oh, now you don't have voltage. So those contacts just closed, okay? So now let's check the other set of contacts. And that is down here on each side. We can smell it now. So here's the other set of contacts. What, the, what do we have? If you're reading voltage, that means it is open, but we're not reading voltage across that set of contacts, it's closed. So we should read an amp draw on both sets of heaters. I'm gonna hit the select button. I'm gonna go to the first set of heater right here. Boop, I'm reading 27 amps. All right, the second heater right here. Boop, I'm reading 24 amps. So our sequencer was not closed. Then mid check, it closed. Now we're drawing amperage on both heaters because we're sending voltage through those coils of wire that heat up. So I'm going to change this sequencer out because that is the problem. The customer said there was no heat and I'm moving this around and it ends up closing. But I guarantee you that it hasn't been closing and that's been the problem. I've had the thermostat on for more than 10 minutes uh, before starting the camera and making those checks. So only when I started touching that sequencer then it closed. So obviously we have a problem. Let's get a single sequencer and replace it. So we've got two circuits here. We've got circuit A and circuit B, both 60 amp circuits. And you can see right here, it says single supply, dual supply, circuit A, circuit B. And we've got our total amps for that one was 28 and total amps for the circuit B is 24. So this is good information here surprised that this is not scratched out or uh, unable to be able to be read so it's, it's able to be read so that's nice so take a moment read this it's good info look up the model serial number look up the wiring diagram the wiring diagrams right here all right so we got the new sequencer here and I'm going to be using the Phillips screwdriver. Make sure you turn the breakers off. And then you've got a Phillips screw right here. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Okay, so looks fairly new. Doesn't really look that old. We're going to go ahead and take the other sequencer and I'm going to put it in place here. We got this hook. A hook that holds that plate into place the sequencers on and then the other side is where we put that Phillips screw so take your Phillips screwdriver and get the screwdriver Phillips screw and then boop. well what is happening here Trying to be difficult, but I'm not going to let it happen. All right, now, just wire for wire. White wire, W, goes on one side of the coil. Other wire right here. Oh. Okay. It goes right here on the other side of the coil. That's the common. The C and W closes whenever you turn your thermostat on or it basically uh, well, that wire is a little hard to get on so I'm glad I got room to reach around these line sets here all right now take and put these wires on
They need to get some needle nose pliers. And we've only got how many wires left? Looks like four. And it may be easier for you if you can't get your hands in here to put all those wires on the sequencer before you actually mount that sequencer in place. All right, so there's two more. Make sure that the feet, the uh, spade is nice and tight. That way, when you put it on the terminal, it's not just going to be, be easy to pull it right back off. All right, this is our last wire. Try to route it around here. Okay. Everything's in place. Breaker's back on. Now it shouldn't take so long for our sequencer to close. We're gonna make a check. Volts AC, meter. Get the meter where you can see it here. And we're gonna check across the set of contacts because we know we got voltage, but what does our, when we measure across contacts, what do we get? Right here and here, 240 volts. Since we're measuring that voltage, you know that it, the contacts are not closed. They should close here in a minute, but if we measure now our heaters, first heater, only three amps, and then second heater, zero. So we've got the meter set up, volts AC still, now we're checking across the contacts again. And now we're measuring what? Looks like zero volts, right? So now these contacts are closed. Now we should be able to measure amp draw goal here. 26 on that one and 24. So new sequencer in place, good to go.